going guys today we are going moving a bit of topsoil so you can see beside me here we have this pile of topsoil and up there on top of it is Podrick on the digger you probably don't recognize the trailer I'm after borrowing this off my cousin uh, Tom our trailer is on the 100 and I have this for the 125 so we have two of us hauling Marianne's on the air tractor the field behind the parlor and the yard all around the cubic is everything we want to go reseed that. There's a few hollows and stuff that we want to kind of bring up level with the field. Um, so we're going to put some of the topsoil in that. Also, right behind the slurry tower, there used to be kind of a bit of a, a haggard or kind of a rough area. It, like it wasn't productive. It was just, we used to have piles of topsoil and things like that out there. And we're going to amalgamate the two fields that are there and kind of get this this which is now a small area that's not productive kind of going good and we're going to sow some multi-species there as well the multi-species we've sown earlier on this year is, is doing pretty well so far so before when we were taking away from top side we were digging in from the side but up on top was quite high up and it wasn't all level on top some of the back part was lower down so he wants to take a layer off the top uh, to have it all level up there if we need because there's a lot of weeds grow up on top of it that we want to go up there um, and cut those weeds so that's why right now uh, dad is roving up on it this stack of top so it was kind of like a wedge because we used to drive up around and tip it on top of it and it was a digger leveling it out and um, so we used to go up one side and down the other pretty nice trailer here i'm after getting off my cousin for a few days it's a lynch trailer it's a little bit longer than our other trailer and it's also wider, it's quite a wide trailer, it's almost wider than the tractor. It has drop sides on it and a bale, uh, my cousin has a bale extension for it so you can, can change it over to all bales or whatever you want, flatbed trailer. It's a very nice trailer now. When I went over to collect it, it was actually set up for bales and me and my uncle just changed it over in a few minutes, it didn't take too long. So this trailer will pull a little bit more than our own trailer although our own trailer it's shorter and slightly narrow but it is deeper the sides are a little bit higher on it oh it'll just help with the two trailers kind of keep us moving a bit more faster and not have the digger idle so we had dug a drain down from the yard um that's taking the rainwater from around the new yard when the, yard, the clean area of the yard it takes the rainwater away so we had dug it out and it was coming down around here and it goes off to join another drain. So we're after putting a pipe in it now because we want to have this field and this field together. So we'll be able to go straight across. So where we dug this drain, we ended, we put a pipe in it in stone. So just need a little bit more soil to, to fill it in. It's a little bit rough around this area as well. So a few loads of topsoil to have it level out. And then the other area is the cubicles over there just along by the wall there's stone from the fill of the cubicles and there's a lot of weeds and stuff growing we want to kind of fill that up with the top side as well bring the field all the way to the wall make it an easier job so you have more grass and less weeds spreading the load out there a little bit because they don't need it all in one spot just less work for the JCB the hydraulic tailboard in the back of this uh, works really nice for that so we want to fill in all this area where all those kind of weeds are growing along there we bring the top side up right up to the wall it should be pretty nice
moment unfortunately we're having a bit of an issue with the JCB um, when we're using the back actor uh, an alarm starts going off which uh, it seems it shows up symbol for the ad blue or the deaf uh, which ad blue we put in it and the alarm goes off it beeps it says contact JCB JCB can't seem to or ECI sort out uh, bring JCB to us can't seem to figure out what's triggering the alarm they've been out trying to deal with it but uh, when you're using it's only when you use the back actor the alarm goes off you might be able to hear it ring in the background blowing the ears off that and what's worse is it starts to kill the power um, I think it's the machine thinks that it doesn't have enough ad blue or something or it but it's also just not telling you to fill it up it's telling you how to contact ACB it's a bit weird you guys can't seem to figure out what's wrong with it if you know what's wrong with it comment below but it's a real pain
So at the moment we're all in some play out of a different area at the moment. This area there's kind of a forest coming along and it stops just down there. But the hedge keeps coming up to the track. And on the other side there's a stone wall. So you kind of have this small little narrow area. And after me so we tip topsoil and stuff we clean off the roadway in there. So the moment we're taking some of that out. We're taking it all, all of it out actually. It's Saturday, so I'm down a person at the moment um, because on Saturdays and Sundays normally uh, the guys are working with us. They come in the morning, do the morning jobs, they go home during the day, and then come back in to do the afternoon jobs. So just myself and dad, but I still have the two tractors running. It's kind of a slightly shorter draw. So yesterday with the top side, it was working out perfect with two of us, two of us um, hauling. Whereas right now I have a little bit extra time, so. I pull one tractor out and I back the other in and then dad can be filling that one while I go and empty this one. So this trailer doesn't quite hold as much as my cousin's trailer. It's not too much, it's probably, uh, dad reckons maybe five buckets. The other one's much nicer. This this has a rigid drawbar. It's not a sprung one, so it's a lot rougher. Plus this tractor has no suspension. Also, this has old lorry tires on it two tires side by side whereas really there should be similar to the, the flotation tires on the other trailer you should put a set of them on these it would be much better it would be a lot easier on the ground less compaction plus the floor needs to be redone this one it's getting fairly battered it, it, the floor wasn't amazing this was kind of a trailer that was fixed up by the farmer that we bought it off a few years back and we knew the floor wouldn't last for too long, but it has hauled a lot of stuff in fairness. So if you put a new floor into it and change the tires, it'll be a fine trailer then. So at the moment I'm tipping this stuff up along by the wall. So there's kind of a mix of things that were piled in there beside the wall where we're drawn out of at the moment. So depending on what kind of stuff dad's put putting in the trailer, he might tell me to drop it off in different places but you can see here obviously where we built the cube because there's fill uh, where it was built up is all here and there's obviously a bit of concrete so you know there's more than a meter a couple of meters here of wasted area and there's just weeds growing on it and if you don't get to keep them sprayed it gets kind of crazy we're gonna fill this all up with soil right up to the wall cover this this bit of concrete here come up to the wall and it'll kind of slope off into the field nice and gradual that means there should be grass all the way to the wall cows and graze and there should be no weeds um, it'll be easier to look after a much tidier job and then it kind of raises up here so we're putting some of the better stuff around here where it'll get more traffic this kind of work is, is something i really enjoy because uh, i know often when you're on the trailer you might be just sitting waiting for the load to fill but Kind of more, I mean, the fixing up the place, places that aren't productive or just a bit of a mess, tidying it up and making it much better. Um, I love to see the progress. Ever been wondering where something is that's just right there where you can see it? I've been wondering where I put those pallets for ages. I'm sure I go past them nearly every day. 